The most common type of oscilloscope triggering used today is edge triggering, which is the default on all oscilloscopes. This type of triggering works fine on repetitive continuous wave or CW type signals, including clock signals. But most of today's signals are more complex than that. So what if you were trying to synchronize on the first pulse of a burst, such as packets of serial data, or perhaps an RF burst? Will edge triggering work? Hi, I'm Johnny Hancock, Product Manager for Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series Oscilloscopes. Let's get started and see how we can use simple edge triggering along with trigger holdoff to synchronize oscilloscope acquisitions on a burst. This is a pretty complex signal. It's somewhat difficult to trigger on if you're just simply using edge triggering. And it, right now, it just looks like a blur. Uh, because it's updating repetitively and it's triggering on different pulses. If I press stop on the oscilloscope, now you can see it's a burst of signals. It's an FM burst. It starts at a low frequency and increases to a higher frequency, then it just goes idle. Now, if I do several single shot acquisitions, you can see here it triggered on the first cycle. There it triggered somewhere in the middle. There it triggered near the end of the burst, and if I press run, then it's just a blur. What we would like the scope to do is always trigger on the same cycle within the burst, and the easiest one to trigger on is the very first one, and we can do that with trigger holdoff. Now, what is trigger holdoff? What trigger holdoff is, is it's basically telling the scope, hold off this much time before before rearming the trigger after the previous trigger. So let's see how do we determine how much trigger hold off to use on this particular FM burst application. So before I press run on the scope again, I've, I've, I've got it frozen, stored on screen. We can make some timing measurements on this burst. I'm gonna turn on the cursors and I'm gonna measure the width of this burst X1 cursor at the beginning, X2 cursor at the end. I can see the delta time, it's about 100 microseconds. It says 97, 100 microseconds is close enough. Now, how long until the next burst comes along? Well, let's move that cursor to the next burst, and it occurs about 130 microseconds after the previous burst. So that's the cycle time of the burst. The ideal holdoff time is somewhere during this uh, dead time of the signal, which would be about 115 microseconds. Now, 110 would work, 120 would work. So let me go into the trigger coupling menu, select hold off, and then enter 115 microseconds and run. Now you can see the scope's running rep repetitively. It's the same signal every time. It looks almost stored, but it is running repetitively. And we're locked on to the first pulse every time. So here's another example. This is a serial bus protocol. It's called SINT, Single Edge Nibble Transmission. It's very popular in automotive. And I'm, right now I'm just triggering on edges without trigger hold off. So again, I'm gonna press stop and here I can see each new, what they call frame or every packet. Again, I'm gonna measure the delta time of each packet or burst. And it measures about 700 microseconds. And then the time until the next packet is about 900 microseconds. So somewhere in between those two is the perfect hold off time. So I'm going to enter 800 microseconds, and that should lock us in. And press run, there we go. So now it's always triggering at the beginning of the packet. InfiniVision oscilloscopes have a lot of advanced triggering capability. This is one of the simplest ones, just using trigger hold off. Uh, we have the ability to uniquely trigger on a variety of serial protocols and also other types of complex signals. 
But again, trigger hold off is the probably the simplest way to lock on to burst of data. If you think you might have learned something in this short video to make you more proficient in performing oscilloscope measurements, I invite you to view our other InfiniVision oscilloscope measurement tips videos. To learn more about Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes, go to the URL listed on your screen or contact one of Keysight's authorized distributors. Thanks and Simplify.